You're listening to the Major Pod Network, the only place where your favorite toy store, card shop, arcade, theme park, and arena are all on the same block. Scratch that major itch. This is Tony Chimmel, and I'd like to introduce the hosts of the Game Marks Podcast, George Feast and Johnny Clash. Welcome to the Game Marks Podcast, presented by the Major Pod Network. I'm the man they call Johnny Clash. And I am Mr. Anything is Feasible, George Feast. And today, we are playing WWE Crush Hour. This is a remastered episode with a very special guest, Mr. Dylan Swaggle Postle. And, uh, I mean, we already kind of gave our ratings on this game uh, a little over a year ago. But now we're going to find out what Dylan thinks of this game. Is he going to give it a play it forever Woo! or a future endeavor? You're fired! And uh, I guess we'll also say what we thought about this game, having replayed it again. That's right. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a five-star review for this podcast on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Follow us on social media at GameMarksPod and check out the exclusive content we're creating for our Patreon at patreon.com slash GameMarksPod. That's right, Georgie. Happy 150th episode. Dylan Swoggle is going to be joining us for the uh, deep dive this week. But how you doing, buddy? Doing good, man. I uh, I always kind of look forward to when we get to go through the uh, the old time machine and, and play a game from uh, that we've already covered. Kind of, it's like a, a full fledged episode of Future Endeavor, more or less. Which uh, you know, it's kind of fun. Much, yeah. Um, the way we're gonna work it is we're not gonna do the same deep dive. So if you wanted to learn about Crush Hour, go check out our episode from August thirtieth, twenty twenty one. That's not even a year ago. You could find not out not even the full year. Yeah, you could find out all you know, published, developed by this came out, the year that this published. No, we're gonna actually sit here. So if you wanna check it out on YouTube, Game Marks Podcast find it um we're gonna do an actual playthrough with dylan and give our live thoughts as we play the game a second time but george follow up from last week we played wwc and play is a word i'm gonna use very loosely it might have been the worst game in general i've played in my entire life out of everything not even just on this podcast now you pointed out who loves Mickey Mousecapade. So that is a great game. You pointed out to me that their Facebook page still existed. So of course, what am I going to do? I'm going to message that page and see what they say. So see, John, John is a, a, um, I, I don't know. I know many of you know that John's a graphic designer, but he's also a journalist, and this is the kind of content <laughs> that you get with journalist John. So I go to the page and I message. I said, hey, is this still an active page? I would love to ask some questions about WWC. So they respond in German. It was like an auto response. And a few hours later, it was actually 3 a.m. our time. It says, try to ask. I will try to answer. Be aware that I am not connected with Phoenix Games. This is only a fan page by one of the people that is now involved in Dingo Pictures. So I think... Uh, Either the page got taken over by a fan, or this is a fa- somehow a page dedicated to this weird Phoenix Games BV. So I just, you know, took a shot here. I said, thank you. Who was on the cover? Why was a boxing game reskinned as a wrestling game? And are the developers wrestling fans? And they came back with, I don't know who the person on the cover is. I think it was a cash grab. WWF slash WWE was even more massive at the time than it is today. It's like, yeah, okay, show me that proof. EA showed with the Def Jams games that they have to offer, so why not jump on the hype of that? Also, naming that similar to a few years few years earlier closed WCW to get the parents and grandparents to buy that. Also, Phoenix Midas did reskin their games a lot. So that's what we got from it. Pretty much what we said in the episode. Yeah. They named it similar to WWC for that reason. Um, I don't know. 
I really hate when people are like, oh, I watched wrestling back when it was popular, back when it was good. It's like, show me the, show me the facts that it was more yeah. popular then. <laughs> well, also, uh, I mean, it, it's kind of interesting to, to note that, like, this was done, like, it is out there, like, hey, this is a reskin of this game. And even this fan account is just like, this is a public-facing thing. Everyone knows this. And it's not like, you know, we uncovered some dirty secret or something. <laughs> it was just yeah. like, like, this is very much like an outward-facing, like, it, it's well-known by even fans of the game. Like, this is just what this company did, which... I, I for some reason kind of makes it like I, I feel better about it now I guess I don't know like it almost makes more sense in my head as to why the game was the way that it was uh, I I'm not giving it any excuses but anyway even though that was a fan like you said it was a fan page I don't know if they were at all associated at any point it was still cool to just get someone to respond but yeah, absolutely. Let's move on. When we hit 1,000 Twitter follows, we are going to drop the next video game history episode, and that is the video game history of Mick Foley. So get I on Twitter. I cannot wait. Get a, at GameMarksPod. Just press tw Twitter's free. Just press that little follow button, and we are on our way to the Mick Foley episode. But George. You got a uh, you got Dylan on the horn. See what I did there? Uh, are uh, are we ready to put our nostalgia goggles on for a second time with this game and do our deep dive? Sponsored by Zavi. I feel like uh, I feel like we really loved this game the first time. I feel like we had nothing but great things to say. So I'm I'm kind of excited about this one. Oh boy! All right, let's go. Hey George. You see this light here that says game over that I point to at the end of every single episode like Ronda Rousey pointing to that WrestleMania sign? I do. Do you know where I got it? Uh, why don't you tell me? I got it from Zavi. That's us.zavi.com, Z-A-V-V-I, and they literally have everything. I have spent hours on this website looking up Mandalorian, Jurassic Park, Harry Potter, like everything you could imagine. There's Legos. Power Rangers, you could pre-order the new Marvel Legends. It's an insane website that has literally everything pop culture. There's even Batman shoes on here. I mean, I know, for me, uh, a little, like, adult Zen Garden project that I like to do is, like, the smaller Lego sets, and Zavi has a lot of those Lego sets on there, and getting kind of itchy, so if you like... All things pop culture, like John said, Disney, Star Wars, Marvel, DC, Harry Potter, Nintendo. They're even getting into the wrestling game now. Oh, yeah. Zavi is the place for you. That's right. Use code GAMEMARKS, simply just GAMEMARKS, at checkout, and you can get 10% off. I'm going to redo my wardrobe. And welcome. Uh, this is the remastered edition for WWE Crush Hour. Myself, George Feast, along with Johnny Clash, and special guest, a man who has never played this game before, Dylan Swaggle Postal. This is where we pair the perfect That's brew <laughs> no. with the perfect wrestling match. It's not the, the hops. Oh, he's got the hops. And the pops. It's not this. That's not this podcast. What so, are you drinking? It's a cut. Oh, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> All right. Cut water vodka mule. Okay. Oh boy, those oh, are great. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. So the the premise then, of this game, Swaggle, is that uh, in that opening video, uh, Vince McMahon has purchased all of the networks. And this is the oh, new oh. show that he is Has he uh, paid putting $3 million dollars for them? Uh, and yeah, this is Crush Hour. You didn't catch that? No. 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 Uh, all right. So we're just going to dive right in. All right. Uh, oh, so no. you two play against each other. And we already covered this episode. So I'm going to just. He's going to touch on. Some facts. And yeah. And I'll do a little, little commentary and stuff. Okay. Uh, Dylan, where would you like to have this battle? At Raw, at Hell in the Cell, uh, the Hardcore Arena, uh, and that's it. Or or the Iron Man, 
or a lumberjack. I was the raw general manager for a while, so let's do it at raw. That's true. That's true. I brought you front and center for this episode. In case you I don't have your hair though, but I got this guy and I put <laughs> our shirt on him. I can't see anything <laughs> besides this. Damn it. Uh All right. okay. AI opponents. <laughs> you wanna just do me versus you or do you want to have other people in there? No, I want to do like two other opponents. Okay, two other opponents. We'll put it on easy because it's your first game. You didn't put it on easy when I played. Yeah, well, because you play a video game with me every week on this podcast. You no, should, just, video game you should just be good every week. Okay. Uh, what the hell is this? So yeah. I'll let you go through and you can take a look at all this stuff. I'm just going to go yeah. right ahead and just pick someone immediately. Uh, and I'm going to go with John's favorite. Yes, Billy Gunn. Billy Gunn. This and now is you incredible. Go have fun. Look through. See what everyone's cars look like. Dude, don't. Thank you. <laughs> Edge, Trish. I mean, it's a I, good roster. They look good. It's just. And there's a bunch weird. of unlockable characters. Yeah. Let me. I'm going to go back and pull up the notes from. Uh, when we played this game in August last year, so. Wow, I feel like this was a lot longer than August of last year. I feel like he should have a milk truck. That would have been cool. That would have been great. That's a little too much, uh, like, forward thinking, I guess. Or, I guess, past thinking. And RVD's car should always smoke. <laughs> that would, oh, wait, it that is. Go cool. back. See, he, his has lights. RVD's is smoking. <laughs> oh, there's green smoke around it. <laughs> All right, there is. I did think of that one. That's awesome. Look at the f the faces. It's like it's level of no mercy in WrestleMania 2000. So the unlockable roster is Bradshaw, Christian, Devon, Hogan, Nash, Lita, Ric Flair, Stephanie, and Vince. Oh, how come Jeff's driving a hoopty? Now what do I do? Uh, oh, just, that's the fun part. You know, you know, like uh, when you play. Have you ever played Twisted Metal? That I've played. Look at that, George. That's our new uh, entrance video. Oh Billy dear, Chuck entrance. God, no. <laughs> Next uh, FWF show. Uh, I'm, I'm going. Dylan's going to gonna be Rico. I'm going to Disney again, so uh, I won't. I won't <laughs> be able to be there. Even though we don't have a date, I'm not going to be here for it. Oh, Jeff was so cool back then. He's still so freaking cool. Yeah, he is. That's a cool... How do I go? Uh, I think it's just A. Yeah. George doesn't like to tell people the controls before starting games sometimes. Uh, so A goes, B is turbo, uh, and then L1, uh, R1 shoots. R R2 did something. Uh... I don't know what that did. Uh, so this game came out March 17th, 2003 for the PS2 and the GameCube by Pacific Coast Power and Light, published by THQ. One of our uh, one of our okay. favorite future endeavors, I guess you could say. This game? Of, uh, year 2. <laughs> this one I didn't get a this one didn't get a pass? Oh no, we're going to see what you think at the end here. But it's a good, cool, like, concept. It's kind of like in the realm of, like, Battlegrounds and All-Stars. It just doesn't, yeah, it's, it like, hit. You know, like, um... This is not in the realm of Battleground and All-Stars. It's... Those were at like least wrestling games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, so you guys... I feel like... On my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash just search Dylan Postle, uh... We need to play Muppets Party Cruise Ooh. some week. Okay. Oh, all right. It's it, it was on, I believe, GameCube. How much health do these guys have? <laughs> I mean, you can... And how am I not... Why do I not have anything special? You got to run... I just have a okay. gun? Have you ever played, like, the versus mode in Mario Kart where you got to, like, run over the power-ups and stuff? In what? In what? Mario Kart? Mario. Mario. It's Mario. Kart? It's Mario, okay? Mario? It's not Mario. Luigi Mario and Mario Mario? Mario and Wario and Luigi. Mario. Waluigi is the best character. No, Wario is the best no. character. Waluigi. The best. I agree. I'm a Wario guy. I'm a Waluigi guy. Wario world. I feel like Wario is essentially me in video game form. Just a little short, fat, mean guy. <laughs> 
You know? Do the mustache. Well, like you, you could pull it off. What it, I'm but, trying to get to this. Uh, we have a thing. Patreon show where we play anything but wrestling games, so I'm always oh. sending George weird games. Maybe, like maybe. Today I found a Nickelodeon like All Star Baseball. Oh, that's fu- that'll be f- that would be fun yeah. too. I don't know Something why like he wants to play that. George, I, I feel I feel I'm gonna need a Patreon soon. Uh, all right, we'll work on that after. <laughs> you you need your own Patreon for your other company's Patreon show. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, I well, I'm I'm still petitioning Tabrowski that going possible just become a regular show on the network. I think that would be great. All right, so I got something. Right Jeff oh, Hardy yeah. is shooting Billy Gunn. Billy Gunn is saying something in the corner here. He's talking about his ass boys. So okay, we also have Chuck and the Undertaker in here. That's uh, <laughs> that, that seems like hi Billy. Be <laughs> sad- oh, See you, buddy. hate to tell you, but Chuck got that point, not you. Oh, Chuck Ross. So you did the damage, but he uh, he stole the roll up. That's a bunch of horse hockey right there. What uh, game are you playing here? Like what? Uh, uh, game this mode is did just raw, and I think it's just like King of the oh, Hill or just, whatever. Just shooting. Yeah, it's just you know, first one to win. What do you mean? Special, there's like but I don't. other things. Yeah, so there's like hardcore. I don't remember the rules specifically of hardcore, but oh, it was cage match, Hell in a Cell. They're uh, all like different types of like, games. Um, uh, hardcore is like uh, capture the flag. Right, you have to like run with the hardcore title. Hey, ass boy, get off my ass! No, no, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, that's <laughs> horseshit. All right, so Billy is up two. This is uh, this Jeff is your has zero. Chuck has zero. You're We're playing a ten up. apparently. Yeah, this so is this your is uh, my revenge for <laughs> WrestleMania 2000. Oh, when I beat the video game guys. Yeah, you beat us. That was all my fault because I didn't uh, kick the right guy to break up the pin. Remember? Yep. Yeah, I don't know that to be true. We'll have to do that again, though. Well, you guys oh. kept punching me in the dick the whole time. Yeah, that happens. Troy Nelson did. So we figured this game when I saw you at FWF Cap Weekend, and you have never played it before. But we also want to play some No Mercy mods with you in the future because we think that would be I cool want to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We I played think that uh, you would, the WCW ones. Love that. Yeah, WCW ones really cool. We're about to maybe start the TNA one soon. Yep, they're like it's... endless because it's such an easy game to mod. Like I've done it in the past. I got wait. Do... You guys do them? No, 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 no. I've done we... it like when I had a free time in high school, <laughs> twenty years ago. You did these? Yeah. So there's a way to like dump the skins, and then you go in Photoshop and you like modify the skins and re-upload them. It's just like you have to literally piece every single piece together. It's not easy. Uh, I will cool. say this. The thing about this game that drove me nuts when we played it is Jim Ross says every single thing that you do. Just so I'll be like, uh, so-and-so life. picked up rockets. So-and-so has gone invisible. Oh, no. Oh, you're here. So what's your uh, halfway through the first game? What's your what's your take so far? Well, if I'm going to... If I'm gonna have- call a spade a spade here this isn't very good <laughs> but we, we only bring people on to play the good games but for the for i a hundred percent ha didn't get me there oh, i almost Dummy. did though oh i yeah, feel like I it's cool to like look at this game and like look through the wrestlers and the cars and the arenas and then like that's it i think that's where it stops yeah like actually playing it yeah, I'm I'm pretty much there with you. I agree with that. I think that's really the the like, best part of this game. And then if you cool think about to it, see what cars they have. Are you playing anything now? Like, are you playing 2K22? Ah, playing Dead by Daylight all day, every day. Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll accept. Uh, that. So no wrestling games. Um, Landon and I on twitchtv Postal, we uh, did. GM mode against each other, and it got real heated. Ooh. And I promised him I would make top guy tuck. I would make Gosh, tucky tuck. a top guy. 
and I did, and he won the title at WrestleMania, and I beat him at the end of the season. <laughs> and man, did it make me feel good. <laughs> uh, so that was good. He wants to start my rise, um, but we just haven't done it. See that? Ah. Oh, oh, Jeff Hardy's on the board with one point. Stole that from me. Is every George round started ten? my rise on our uh, YouTube channel? I haven't done it yet. I've done the showcase mode, which is which was it was fun. A little short. Um, uh, the I showcase don't... mode, yeah. The showcase mode was I expected. I did not like the show. showcase mode, and I think we've just been spoiled by past yeah. ones. Yeah, I um, agree with we, that. We uh, we touched on last week that there's like a hidden file in there that showed that there was supposed to be a Liger match potentially. That would have been cool. Oh really? Yeah, I think it was what Starcade '96 or something. Yeah, '96, '97. But like, I just feel. I mean, I I love the concept of doing the the certain things. I believe they started that at uh, WrestleMania All Stars, oh. right? Or Wrestle like. What was the game? Uh, All Stars is like the fantasy booking kind of thing. No, the there was the Legends of WrestleMania or something. Yeah, where it was like Stone Cold and The Rock at WrestleMania 15, and you had uh, uh, the certain things in the match. Oh the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's cool, but like. At certain points, like you want to take control, like why is every finish of every match? That I hated. You know? Yes, and that, I yeah, that's with thing streamer that mode on, so I couldn't even hear Ray or watch them, or else YouTube flagged me. So it wasn't it wasn't that much fun. It was cool seeing like the different costumes and stuff. I, the, and how I they think actually changed it throughout. The way that I had said it was set. like the first time you see that cut to the video, you're like, wow, this is awesome. And then by like the fourth or fifth time in the same match, you're like, yes. okay. Yeah. And, and you could just and sense when it's coming. The, yep. And the video cutscenes were very long in this one, too, I felt. Mm hmm. Oh, Billy has a nine. He needs one more to win. Jeff Hardy's at one. Chuck's at two. Undertaker, I haven't even seen him like on the board. <laughs> Is he stuck somewhere? No, he's right in front of me. I was me. following him for a while. Huh. How do I do a special? Not, uh, He's about uh, to win. Why? Oh, Jeff Hardy's at three. Oh, that's a four. No, that's a three. I thought it, it, I thought that, it what a what a smack talk line that was. In what did the it say? End, when, there when, will in only the end, be only Jeff one Hardy. Jeff Hardy. <laughs> well, there might not be even one Jeff Hardy in the end. Not in this game. Oh, I'm surprised Undertaker's uh, this bad right now. As Billy locks in on Undertaker to take the lead. Oh no. Game's about to end here. Go, Undertaker. Oh, <laughs> Billy Damn wins. It. Billy wins. I mean, listen, this is not a game where you are proud of the victories that you have. Oh, you get a nice little entrance video. This Lovely is very weird. Video. This is. Man. Take him through a uh, specialty match. Yeah, and then. And then uh, you got to get in a game or two with him. Yeah. You got to really. It. What the? That's in a video package? Listen, 2003 was wild. Now, in case I you were wondering, the this. weapons you can use here are an energy beam, a guided bomb, a grenade launcher, a laser rocket, mines, twisty rockets, and a smaller annihilator, which is a smaller energy beam gun. And you will hear uh, Jim Ross say twisty rockets no less than 45 times. <laughs> <laughs> um, John, in the notes, uh, what does it say that Hell in the Cell is? So you start inside a squared room with three competitors. You go head to head. If you die, you appear out of the chamber. Must wait until someone else dies to fight them. The last person in the chamber gets their health restored, and the chamber opens up. And now you must get kills to win. Uh, so it's kind of like a little King of the Mountain <laughs> match. Yeah. Uh, Iron Man is just the most wins in a slotted time what's lumberjack mm -hmm. um it's a wood field and you have to reach the star on top of the field you want to try that one dylan where it's just like a race sure. all right uh points to win match time. oh all right i can change it in here huh. well that's weird okay 
Uh, hazards remove points. Kills remove points. AI difficulty. Change. Does it have to be 10? Sure. We'll make it make, like five. Here yeah. we go. That's the lowest yeah. we can go. All right. Uh, uh, roster you know, select time. We're going Barack Lesnar. Bork? Bork laser, baby. A nice big... What do you call that truck? It's like a... Like a oh, actually, I have it right here. Truck. It's called an armored truck. <laughs> Rikishi's <laughs> ass is on the back of that car. Yep. yep. A cement roller. John, wh- who'd he pick? Right. Who'd he pick, he John? The big quiche. The big quiche. George hates when I call him the big quiche, which was he was referred to many times by Taz on TV because... He thinks I'm talking about like an egg quiche. And I just say, there he I is, John's hate. favorite wrestler, the bacon and egg quiche. I hate quiches. Is, it, is that the hot take of the day? You hate quiches? Talk about toast and grilled cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. Oh. I made a toasted bagel today. And I'm a going, what? man. As you heard probably me great. a toasted bagel. Sure. Uh, <laughs> I have to stare at this the whole time. Rikishi on the back of a steamroller. Here we go. Battle of the heavyweights. We got Bork Lesnar, Rikishi, who looks right. like Mr. Kennedy in there, actually, in that little icon. Chuck Palumbo and The Undertaker. Chuck and The Undertaker back, returning for, for, for game two. Rikishi has gotten his first star. We're, we're playing a five here. Oh, there's the next one. Chuck got that one. Somehow George is just going to come out of left field and just, yep, and just win this. I just, I just know it. Oh, oh! I have an so atomic we, drop. Is it an atomic drop or a reverse atomic? Does the oh. game know the difference? I have invulnerability. Oh, so what is this? The star just keeps moving, and you have to find y- it. Yeah. So you're playing Quidditch. Sure. You're playing what? Quidditch. Is that the Harry Potter thing? Yes. Oh, Oh, you son of a bitch. Brock destroys Rikishi, taking away a star. After he gained his second. Ooh, Rikishi's zoning in. Oh. On Bork. Grabbing the grenade launcher. Come on. See, I think this game mode is a lot more fun than just like the regular. Way oh, better. What, what was that? That just run over the line? It's good to have like an objective in this game. Just shooting is kind of like, eh. Is that what that was? A mine? Been better if it was a mime. Oh, 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 oh. Rikishi grabs it. Brock is locked in on him. Get out of my way! <laughs> Chuck Palumbo I takes it. He takes it away Chuck from Rikishi. Palumbo. He doesn't get oh, it though. Man. So Chuck is in a concept car. Undertaker is in a three-wheel chopper. I feel like if this wasn't Big Evil Undertaker, he would have had a cooler car. Uh, okay. Like a hearse or something. Yeah. Why do I have? Oh no! Literally two bars of health at all times. <laughs> If you're driving, running into uh, Undertaker what? on the board, George probably set the game, gave you a handicap. I I did nothing. I'm already handicapped, George. This in here. Oh, Brock gets it. It is now three, nothing, nothing, one. Brock has three. Undertaker has one. Here we go. Oh, this is. This is riveting. Uh, if, if you're listening to this episode, I highly suggest watching this episode yes. instead. I'm trying to give all the play by play I can here, but. <laughs> I took uh, it away! Oh, wow. <laughs> Undertaker lives to destroy oh. people like you. Undertaker's got two, George. He's right behind you. Rikishi with the little speed burst there. I'm gonna get one. Rikishi grabs a star. Undertaker lost a star. Stop shooting me. (laughs) (laughs) Are you just purposely following him? (laughs) No, I just was literally driving in front of him because we're both trying to go for the stars, and then all of a sudden it was just he was just there, and I was like, well, all right. Oh, Rikishi. Where the hell is this star? 
I think that's what would bother me the most here. It's just circling and trying to find it. These are very, uh, these graphics. Uh, I think for like PS2 oh, and GameCube. Oh. And of course, George wins. <laughs> They're very, uh, <laughs> think of the other THQ games for GameCube and PS2 at the time. These are. Oh, is this, this was GameCube. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like GameCube this had is, PS2 shit graphics. Yeah, but it's the same. Oh, yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. Really. But oh, this was PS2? Yeah. Yeah, it was both. GameCube didn't have the same capabilities. Uh yeah, oh. it's like a lesser version of it. All right, what's next? You want me to give it a go and then we'll yeah. uh, Let's go. We're going to do that we'll talk about do that do that thing where you snap and then the frame changes. And we're we back. And now And we're back. No, there's no no snap. Okay. So I am in the driver's seat here. Yes. I can't Should snap be? with my left hand. Nothing working? Uh. The D pad wasn't working. Oh, you want to try? There we go. Okay. All right. All right. X a bitch. Oh, I was supposed to go to multiplayer, wasn't I? Yes, you were. I'm new here. All right, multiplayer. We're going to do. Oh, look, it's a little Randy Orton pyro. Uh, you want to try the Hell in a Cell? Or what was SmackDown? SmackDown is... Let's go to the chart here. Is it the fist? It's raw, so it's just against each other, but there's secret walls. Oh, Ooh. yes, yes. Hell in a Cell. Ooh. Hell in a Cell? Hell in a Cell it is. Kills to win. Five. Have you guys seen... Have you seen the Mimi where Mimi. it's someone... On Tinder, <laughs> I tried to correct him a hundred times. Messaging <laughs> a, a gal named Helena Cell. <laughs> yes. yes. Like, like, remember when you threw mankind off me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, Helena like Cell. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Mimi's. I'm gonna be. Do re Mimi's. I'm going Booker. Well, he's got smoke behind him too. <laughs> <laughs> I was never a Stacy Keebler guy. No? No. I was. Oh. Uh so because my uh my YouTube uh Don't. algorithm <sighs> is all jacked up because of you um and doing research for for going postal. Uh someone made you in 2K18 or 2K19 and they mm -hmm. made a video of them giving you every person's finisher in the game. <laughs> like You're that. talking to me, right? Yes, Johnny Clash, yeah. Oh. What the hell is this music? Oh, you missed it. Oh, Johnny boy. Clash I don't remember what to do. Oh, no. All right. Uh, um, John's on the top. Walls. Dylan's on the bottom in the <laughs> monster truck or whatever the hell that's supposed to be. I don't know what to do. Stone Cold is destroying me. Why? I am so inverted. This is not good. Are, are you not mapped correctly? I don't know. Horseshit! Stone Cold just destroyed me, though. Can you drive correctly? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. What well, was someone eliminates someone. Well, uh, currently you guys are both getting your ass kicked by the computer. The cell phone is now open. Get away from me! Uh, oh, I didn't realize who Swaggle was playing until right now in this moment. Yeah, he chose Chris Benoit. For Fun reasons. Make you guys real uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, that's he's that's literally crazy. in so many games that we've covered already. There is a time timer that's about to end. What is uh, that? I think that another thing opens. Six, five, four, three, two. What's gonna happen? One pyramid doors. Pyramid doors. Open. Oh boy. So I it just unlocks yeah. more sections uh, where you can go get more uh, power-ups and health and stuff. How do you use the power-ups? Uh, so uh, R1. Oh, there we go. Circle? I think Circle it's R1. did my, my turbo. Did you just hear, yeah. see what he did? How do I use this? Uh, how do I do this? See it, Dylan. Uh, so yeah, R1 shoots or R2 shoots. Yeah. And then uh, your circle or Y button or triangle or Y button is when you have your special meter all the way up. I'm going to eliminate him. <laughs> He's destroyed. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, he got out. 
Tried to pin you in the corner and made it out. Oh, he's got a side set on you. Oh, and L3 is like a quick turn. Or uh, uh, L1. A little drift. L1 is drift. Ah, there. Yeah. Damn it, Steve. Stone Cold. X, oh, X me up is... Here. Uh, you guys got to play a lot more if you guys lose to the, control, the computer. No. Oh. <laughs> Booker T's got yeah. two, 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 two. Swaggle's not I'm on the going for yet. The Are you kidding me? I didn't get that one. No, don't try to steal it from me. Johnny Clash oh, using the uh, ever, ever popular turret mode where he just uh, parks his car, <laughs> puts on the e-brake, and then uh, just shoots. How much health does Johnny Clash have? Not uh, much. Uh, you know, a fair amount. This isn't right. Uh, guys, I cannot stress enough, if you are not watching the video version right now, go out of your way to uh, watch this, because th th this is probably the greatest gameplay for this game you're going to see. I mean, this is this is like peak... I'm having a great time. This is peak crush hour gameplay between the three of us. This is... Uh, uh, people we might go people weren't good at this, I have a feeling. Like, no matter how much you played it, you could Oh, Trish just this. eliminated me. No! How do you back up? That's what I don't X button. Do. X button. Hold oh. it. Uh, oh, that Johnny changes Clark's a lot of three, things. Three out of five here. Dylan still not on the board. Ooh. Well, it's because I'm getting robbed. Be better. Got to go for those power-ups, Dylan. I can't go for anything because I keep getting... <clears throat> L1 to drift. Tight, it makes you do faster turns. I know what L1 is. I just can't do it. <laughs> oh, four or five. Who? I used my special Johnny whatever Clash. that was. Four four, Stacey no! Keeper. <laughs> no, we can't. That's Trish. That. That's Trish. Oh, that's Trish. I thought that was Stacey Keebler. Yeah, it looks like. Let me uh, eliminate you so the computer doesn't win. Oh, that's uh, that's all I throw out of that sounds. Uh, Dylan just picked up something called a ramming something. I'm ramming power. I won. Of course, Booker this game got to five. Sucks. Come on, five. This game, this game, is going just the way of May sixth, two thousand sixteen. Dylan Postel, future endeavored. You're fire. Get out of here. <laughs> we don't even need to discuss it. I'm putting the controller down. Are we, are we done with the gameplay here? Do you need to see any more? Uh, I, I, guess, I guess that's it. Uh, listen, Dylan, uh, for real, though, let, let's, uh, let's hear your thoughts on this one. So, I feel if... So, well, here we go. Crash Team Racing, Diddy Kong Racing, were those after this, before this, around the same time? Before this. They were before this. Yes, Crash so Team Racing was, and Diddy Kong Racing are before this. So this was truly like the height of Twisted Metal, you'd say? Uh, this I would is say, after. Yeah, this is, this is like, a, this I would is say around like Twisted Metal Black. Like you're getting probably okay, like... That, Twisted Metal this is Black on PlayStation 2, so huge. I think Twisted Metal Black is on PlayStation 2. Yeah, Twisted Metal first came out in 95. Yeah, and then you got three on the PlayStation 1, one, two, okay. three on the PlayStation 1, and then I think Black is PlayStation 2. Yeah, okay. Black came out in 2001, so, so this is in between Black and Head On. Yeah. Why do so, I know so much about Twisted Metal? <laughs> I feel that if this game would have come out during the Diddy Kong Crash Team era, beginning of Twisted Metal, it would have been, like, acceptable. But... This isn't good. <laughs> I feel like it should have been a Game Boy game. Yeah, I think if they if the they did something like this, where it's more of um, like Mario Kart, where you had the option to do both, where you could do races, but then you could also have the battle. What What's the matter? Say. Why are you shaking your head? You know why I'm shaking my head. Mario. Thank you. Mario um, Kart. That's exactly it. It's and not. I mean, all the characters are essentially the same. That's what I hate about Mario Kart currently. Wario to Yoshi, no difference. 
on the 64 in past games, the littler guys were faster, and the big guys, if you ran into the little guys, it would knock them out. It's not like that anymore, and I hate that. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely still stats. Uh, I, th- I think that more so changed because now you have the car customization for, for Mario Kart. Where they, but I understand, like, you would want the bigger guys to hit hard. Like, Bowser should yeah. launch Toad across the map Correct. when he runs into him. But, like, Toad I think they kind of were just like, well, we'll Bowser. balance that out with the cart changes. But, yeah, I, I, I but, like that. And, like, this, I, I don't know. The, I think the racing mixed with the battle mode would have been better. Or something like Rocket League. Yeah. You know, just when was the last time that you played Rocket little... League, Dylan? Um, I was testing on <laughs> my ex. I was testing out the new setup with Rocket League. Actually, okay, I liked Ooh, it. Play um, yeah, do I like Rocket League, but I am dog shit at it. Yeah, I mean that's that's everyone. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I play I, with people who are really really good, and I just the, the things that they do. I'm like I I physically do not understand how to make the car do the things that you're doing. Like not even I, like in practice. I just don't understand yes. any of it. I I'm sure you guys have brought this up. They have never done like a Smash Brothers with WWE kind of game. That would be awesome. That's not uh, kind of battlegrounds though, right? To get like power. Kind of battlegrounds, like but also kind of like WrestleMania arcade game ish. I'm I'm talking legitimately. Uh, side scroll. Yeah, I mean, like a like a like platformer not, beat 'em up. Yeah, side like scroll. Smash Brothers. Yeah, I get, no, I guess it's not a call a side scroll, but it's it's. I mean, yeah, it's a side scrolling camera. What about just yeah. like Roman Reigns just in Smash Brothers or something? Yeah, I'll, 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 sure. Uh, I'll take that. Out of 10, given this one, 3.5. Okay. All right. That's All right. that's fair. That's fair. I still want my uh, my hockey crossover game. I'm, I'm still on that uh, that kick. All right. Well, I do feel like they could have done in the era of Blitz and like NFL Street that they could have done a football one. Yeah, or oh, yeah. we always bring up NHL hits where you could like light on fire and just smash the guy through the glass. I loved NFL and NBA Street. I loved yeah. those two games so much. Those are like thinking about going to my buddy's house and having Mike's hard lemos when we <laughs> probably shouldn't have been uh, and just playing NFL Street and NBA Street. Those games were so much fun. Blitz still holds up to this day. Oh, Blitz is I amazing. Love Blitz. Blitz is like the top Blitz. 10 games of all time. They're always so trying Blitz to like put that in Madden and it just doesn't work. Blitz is so much better on arcade compared to controller. And I oh, don't, like the arcade cabinet? Like the four up? Yeah. Arcade cabinets? Yeah, yeah those and are I good. Don't like playing, I don't like playing on arcade cabinets for many games. That's one of those that's way better than controller. Yeah, I feel like that, I like Turtles it. in Time... The Simpsons game. Oh, yeah. Simpsons. Like a lot, Simpsons. Like a little... New Turtles. New Turtles game. I played it last night on Twitch. 10 out of 10. Oh, Ooh, wow. I downloaded it today, so I got to gotta go in there. I, 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 I swear by you can play by yourself. You can play with, you can play with six or five other people. That's Damn. pretty awesome. And you can play like by yourself, with your buddies, uh, with your kid. <clears throat> it's so much fun. There's, there's so, much, so much, so much. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. All right. All right. Are so we gonna plug all your crush hour? Where'd we say? Dillapostle.com. Merch. Merch. Twitch.tv slash Dillapostle. YouTube.com slash just search Dillapostle. Uh, subscribe, like, smash the bell, leave a comment. Doing big things. Uh, yeah. That's me. We have a show, me and Dylan. It's called Going Postal. It's part of the Going Postal. If you're listening to this, that means you could also listen to that. And you should. A little less cool. clash on that one. Yeah, a lot less. That's the way <laughs> you like it though. Alright, cool. Thank you for joining us.
right, guys. Huge thank you to Swoggle for, uh, I guess, putting up with WWE Crush Hour. Uh, you got... His thoughts, uh, we, we rattled off some additional facts. Uh, John went through the notes uh, from, from August, and we kind of got a little uh, nostalgia visit of a game that we played a little less than a year ago. And now, John, it is time for us to revisit our ratings because <sighs> it's time to rate the games. Are we actually going to do that? Yeah, right, we can not? give new, yeah, new, new insight. All right, John, remastered uh, version, WWE Crush Hour, now with uh, Dylan. Uh, th- did this experience make you like the game more, like the game less? Did you think it was weird? I mean, we, we kind of talked a lot about it. I kind of know where you're going to go with this already, but just just for the official book. So I didn't even want to play. I wanted just you guys to play, but you made me. Um, yes. Like I said earlier... I think it was a cool concept. It's cool looking at just like the character models and the cars and stuff and seeing who goes with what and the unlockables and, oh, what's the arena? Oh, this is a really cool looking raw arena for what it is. Um, When I played Hell in a Cell, I think was the first one. I only played the pyramid wall broke and all that stuff. I will say it was more fun, I think, than the second time we played. The first time, sorry, probably because it was on easy setting and I won. Um, Watching you and Dylan struggle through that first game up to 10 kills was a little rough. I think think that was the the hard part, was that it was up to 10. Yeah, I think 5 is a sweet spot and you could somewhat enjoy it. Um, It's still a future endeavor. You're fired! But if I ever had to like, which I will have to revisit it on future endeavor, the show on Patreon... It's kind of like, okay, I, I know what I'm getting into now, but it's not something I'll choose. All right. But all right. what about you? Sticking with it? Uh, I mean, it, it, it was fun, but at the same time, it's the whole, you're not supposed to like the game because mm. you're playing it with your friends and all that stuff. So I, I don't think... I actually don't even remember what I gave this the first time. We both gave it a future endeavor. Okay, that's what I was. That's what I thought. Uh, and I just I think we talked about it a lot. There's a lot of things that they could have done to make this like a little bit more of a flushed out, fully fledged game. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here. Big roster, uh, power ups, a lot of game modes. But I think if they kind of went with that hybrid model of there's this battle section. And then there's also another component. Uh, I think the idea of like having it be something like a Rocket League or even just like a Mario Kart where you, you know, it's a race. And then there's also this battle mode. Um, I thought that that could have added a little extra. I just don't think that there's enough to really be like, wow, this is the greatest game I've ever played. Uh, Yeah, so I'm also giving it a future endeavor, sticking with the original uh, rating. And like you, I will be playing this in a matter of weeks. Yeah! Yep. All right. Well, that was uh, our remaster of Crush Hour. Are you ready to enter the soft lock? Let's go. All right. Soft lock is a weekly segment on the show where a mega mark from our Patreon gives us a topic and John and I go back and forth and talk about debate uh, that topic. And then we like to propose that same question to you and you let us know what you thought and your answers on social media. This week, the soft lock comes from Soups. What's going on, Soups? Uh, and his question is, with recent free-to-play games like Roller Champ, which is a rollerball-style game, and Knockout City, which is a dodgeball-style game, what alt sport would make a good video game? Hmm. So this can't be... It could be... I would say it could be a game that has maybe... It could be a sport that has maybe had games in the past, but it's not something that's like super mainstream, like football or hockey or baseball. Does wiffle ball count? That's like or like baseball. a good like stick ball, or a... it's... no, it's not. Did you ever yeah. stoop ball? Did that's... you ever play stoop ball as a kid? Yeah. So like you have yeah. to throw it against the steps and hit it, and if it makes it past the first person, it's... Yep, yep. That would be uh, interesting, but, hmm. Actually, when I, I like, first read this, I didn't see the alt part, 
and I was like, oh, there hasn't been like a lacrosse game because, you know, it's just for people who can't skate. But <laughs> maybe like pickleball or <laughs> George liked that one. <laughs> what a hot take on lacrosse for no reason. Who, who played lacrosse that hurt you that that is your opinion on lacrosse? Uh, we're, we're not going to talk about that. Oh, um, God. But I mean, th- there's been like one or two lacrosse games, but I think that that could be right. interesting. There's not like a ton. I feel like there's a PS1 lacrosse game. I feel like I'd pick dodgeball, but it already happened. Yeah, I, think that's I mean, such dodgeball a cool is a... concept. You know what's a game that hasn't been, or a, a sport that maybe hasn't been featured a, enough? What? what about like a? Do you ever do you ever play that unicycle game on uh, the the? You think it's called the Uniracers on the Super Nintendo? I think I just had a nostalgia rush for a second, but then you lost me. I think what uh, I was a, thinking was a It's a side-scrolling racing thing. game where you're a unicycle and you just like <laughs> race through these tracks. And for some reason, I loved that ki- that game as a kid. So give me like a, a unicycle, like a street okay. unicycle game where you do, do like tricks, tricks and stuff. Yeah. yeah. That'd be cool. I was thinking something like uh, air hockey, but not like more, I guess with people, if that makes sense, like. Maybe, or even like we said before, what about, give me wrestling with Rocket League. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, think like air hockey. Think of it's a person, but the puck like floats like air hockey. Like it just, is, is that just hockey? Or, or wait, what, just, let's build upon this. What if it was like, like a futuristic like space air hockey where like the concept is still space hockey, but the premise is like it's people in a ship are the paddle. You know what's my end all be all? I want Quidditch. And you know what, John? Not the virtual basement one. No, Quidditch. Yeah, let's go. That's it. That's, That's it. my final answer. That's it. And then for honorable mention, because we were just talking about it before, I want that NHL uh, wrestling hockey crossover game. Oh, I really, I just, so you know, that cool. tabletop hockey WWE. I want that to be a game. That's just give me that. Yeah, probably our most mentioned uh, thing we wanted on this entire. Where's that Kickstarter? Show. Give me that Kickstarter. All right, are you ready for some gaming news? Yeah, there's something in this week's gaming news that's going to break my heart. All right, your gaming news sponsored by WrestleChamps, new for the iOS and Android. Go check that out. Download it now. It is free. It's a fun game. But here we go. Tony Hawk confirms plans for Pro Skater 3 and 4 Remake were abandoned after the Blizzard merger, even though there was success here with Tony Hawk's 1 and 2 Remake. Call of Duty is now punishing cheaters by taking away their weapons. I love how petty they are. It's great. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 can't be completed on the Switch due to a game-breaking bug that does not have a patch yet. And this one I put a little more into because this one intrigues me and I can't wait for this. WB Montreal's upcoming DC superhero game, Gotham Knights, will feature the largest version of the iconic Gotham City that has ever been seen in a video game. Now, I did a little little more of a deep dive on Gotham Knights because, you know, there's a show out. This game's coming out. Now, they are not associated. This game and the show are two completely different entities. This is expected to come out in October of 2022. They say October 25th, but it's already been bumped back a year. And you're getting Robin, who is Tim Drake, Nightwing, Dick Grayson, Batgirl, Barbara Gordon, and Red Hood, who is Jason Todd. So if you were wondering who is who here, what uh, what versions of who you're getting, that is, that's it. That's your Gotham Knights, and I love it, and I can't wait to play it. Oh, God, I love the Arkham series so much. and I. Uh, this is not the Arkham series. For- I know, but it, it's just like it's still within that, like it's Gotham. Still Batman. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I meant. Like I love the Arkham series so much that I'm looking forward to this because it's it's another Batman series. I still game. have Arkham Knight sitting on that shelf right behind me. Never. You still have to play The Last of Us. Yeah, too, so I've, I've never put in this PlayStation. Hey, Age of Empires will end, and then you'll go into that. Oh, I'm, the I'm campaign's sure. so long though. That's not going to end. Um, all right, games releasing this week: Phobia, Saint. Didn't film the hotel. I'll just leave that at that. MX versus ATV Legends. Cuphead, the delicious last course of DLC. 
The Galactic Junkers, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak DLC, Outriders World Slayer, and F1 2022. Ah, uh, youtube.com slash Game Marks Podcast for all of our weekly playthrough videos, exclusive content, and more, including this week and every other week's game. John, what is happening on Patreon this week? All right, today you're getting the show ad-free. Tomorrow you're getting the show notes on Patreon and GMP Game Over as well, where we are now going through another championship in WWF No Mercy. Wednesday on Future Endeavored, you will be getting George Feast last week playing Howl Wrestling, and this week I will be playing Fire Pro Wrestling Z. Now there's a little bit of a bug that happens during my gameplay, so bear with it. Just, just, just watch the episode and see what happens. Um, you can't even blame that one on me. No, I downloaded the translated version, and that kind of screwed everything uh, up. You know, I've talked about this before. It's the reason that we don't play the translated yeah. versions on, on the podcast. Yeah, it was uh, it was an accident. But once I got the real one, it was a little better. Now, last week, Wild's World debuted with episode four. And next week, Clash and Burn comes back with special guest CPA. Now, if you were with us last night on Twitch, GMP64 mayhem happened and what an event it's going to be and in July we are presenting our next show unsanctioned where there are no rules I keep thinking that each pay-per-view is going to be my pay-per-view and then somehow some way flash brand just <sighs> sorry we'll see what the vote says at the end of uh, the season again yeah. we're, uh, we're at the halfway point so we're we're getting there but check yeah. out the old episodes on YouTube. Check out the draft. If you're a Patreon member, you get all of the pay-per-views uploaded the next day, so you can go back and watch them all. But George, tell us what we are playing on the 4th of July episode next week. Next week, we are playing Gekito Burning Wrestling. Uh, what you call now me? This, yeah, I know. Uh, this is uh, a game that has come up on the podcast before. It has been options uh for for i mean games that i was gonna pick when back when i picked the games and it's been options now that the mega marks uh pick the games but here we are it's finally happening gekito burning wrestling next week on the podcast and john oh boy what i have a little uh a little giveaway that i would like to oh, do in you? honor of this week's guest uh in my hands if you're watching the video version Ooh. you will see a lovely, beautiful, signed Major Bendy's, and it is a uh, swaggle. And uh, all you gotta do to win this bad boy is find the pin tweet, like the pin tweet, retweet, and make sure that you are following the Game Marks Podcast Twitter. And uh, yeah, we will announce who wins next week. All right, I like it. And uh, don't worry, the pin tweet will have all those steps as well so <laughs> it's kind of kind of fail proof <laughs> all right uh, and with that uh gamemarkspod.com slash shop for all of our exclusive merchandise pro wrestling tees.com slash game marks pod for all of our new shirt designs patreon.com slash game marks pod for all of our exclusive content and everything that you just heard johnny clash talk about at Game Marks Pod on all forms of social media. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, smack that notification bell, and leave us a five-star rating and review on both Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And if you have a product or service that you would like to advertise on this podcast, please reach out to us at GameMarksPod at gmail.com. Huge, huge thank you to Dylan for uh, coming and hanging out with John and I this week. And uh, like he said, go and... Make sure to follow him on all the socials and subscribe to his YouTube as well. And uh, this is the part where I throw it over to Johnny Clash to do that thing. Game over! Marks, how do you smack a bell? Game Marks Podcast, put them on the radar. Playing rare games, Sega Saturn, no game shard. Johnny and George work hard and they play hard. Future Endeavor games and put them in the graveyard. From the deep dive to the clash at the feast. How can I get more? That's question of the week. Follow on Twitch, there's nothing that they won't play. Game Marks Podcast every single Monday.